Hello and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and I'm bringing you the best heavy stealth armor. So I've done lots of armor videos on this channel for Kingdom Come Deliverance as anybody who's been watching the channel for a while will probably know. And I've done quite a few great heavy armor guides and I've done some great stealth armor guides. Some that'll uh, make you look like an assassin, some that are uh, pretty good medium armor and are very stealthy, some that are basically invisible light stealth armors. Well, today we're gonna to go for the one that I think most people will probably find to be the most useful, which is the heavy stealth armor. So this is one that tries to get us up into the somewhat suitable for heavy combat, you know, armor that can actually take a beating, will put you in a good spot as long as you're not terrible at the game, you know, uh, against various different armed opponents. One that can actually protect you, but also has fairly low visibility, conspicuousness, and noise. So it can be used for any part of the game. It can be used for direct combat missions where you're going in and fighting, or it can be used for any time where you need to be sneaking around stealthy or hunting or assassinating people or stealing things or whatever that may be. So this is a very, very good uh, suit of armor for general purpose use, and I'll show you how to make it even better. But with all that being said, let's just dive on in and start off the guide. So for starters with weapons, uh, you could choose quite a few different things here. I wouldn't choose a shield because they typically bring up your visibility and conspicuousness, uh, but I like a a, well, obviously a bow and arrow because in stealth in this game, that's pretty much the best way to go because you can deal a tremendous amount of damage uh, without drawing too much attention to yourself, especially because you can do it from a great distance away as long as you practice and get good with it. The recommendation I have here is the Cuman Bow, uh, the best variant of that that has 74 damage. And the reason I do that over the uh, U Long Bow or something like that is just it's uh, got a quicker draw speed so you can fire more arrows. Uh, if you like the U longbow that would obviously work just as good so i like the cumin bow specifically the variant that does 74 damage but otherwise uh any powerful bow is going to be great then your arrows uh there's lots of different ways to go if you're trying to assassinate a specific person who is not wearing armor and such then a wounding arrow or something might be a great choice i like the better piercing arrow they go they do more damage through armor which a lot of your opponents are going to be armored so that's why i like them and they just have the highest stab damage which is 150 so very, very powerful there. And then uh, I like to keep a dagger on me for assassinations. And of course, like I said, you do want a melee weapon as a backup just in case. Uh, a mace or an axe would work perfectly fine. I like having a sword because typically with this build, uh, if I find myself needing a melee weapon, it's often because I'm being mobbed by low level, lightly armored opponents. And then a sword like the razor that can slash and do a lot of damage is very, very effective. So that's weapons. There's quite a bit of flexibility there, but basically a dagger, a bow and arrow, and then some sort of a one-handed weapon. Weapon. Uh, you could do a longsword if then you want. Uh, for this build, I typically find a one-handed weapon to work better. Uh, now let's move on to the armor. So starting off with the clothing, we have the dark Saxon gambeson, the golden spurs, the necklace, the padded coif, uh, the black variant that is, the quiet dark shoes, silver ring, and tight black hose. And I could show you stats just to uh, make sure you've got the right ones whenever there's a multiple. So with the dark padded coif or the padded coif that looks black, uh, stats you'll see are visibility and conspicuousness of 13 and 13 and zero for noise. Tight black hose are nine and nine and zero. Uh, Silver Ring has high visibility and conspicuousness, 50 and 58, but zero noise and it helps with our charisma. Quiet Dark Shoes, 14 and 12 and zero. Uh, necklace, 50, 63 and zero. Golden Spurs, 80, 90 and uh, 100, but 20 charisma and they actually don't really change your stats that much. So there are certain things that it'll say that it has really high visibility and conspicuousness, but then you'll notice it doesn't actually change your stats that much. And so that's what we've got going on here. So I tried to balance, like I said at the beginning, the most important things are armor value, and then our visibility, conspicuousness, and noise. I wanted it to protect us well enough, but also not to draw too much attention or make too much noise. But whenever I could, I also tried to maximize charisma, because that way you have a well-balanced suit of armor. So that's our first layer, the clothing. Let's add our mail on. And so the two items of mail that we'll have on here are the mail chosses, uh, which you can see have 67, 56, and 100, and then 18 charisma. And then our mail coif, the one that we're using here is the one with the 57, 55, 81. Uh, the good thing about these, again, even though that their visible stats as it reads out show it being kind of noisy and, and uh, high, it actually doesn't change our stats too much on our person. So, you know, it's worth the extra protection for what it increases there. So you can see so far with this mail, we're only at 18 for noise. We have 11 for charisma and our visibility and conspicuousness are in the 
30s, so we're not getting bad there. Let's add our armor on. So for our armor, we have the, we're starting with the Aachen Dark Brigandine. You can see we have the variant that has 38 and 45 for visibility and conspicuousness, 39 for noise and 15 for charisma. Then we have the Simple Plate Pauldrons, the Saxon Composite Chausses, and there are three variants. We're going with the ones that on the picture here look kind of bluish. They have 53 and 60 for visibility and conspicuousness, 73 for noise, and 6 for charisma. Then I have the bell-shaped kettle hat, 66, 52, and 68. Uh, you could use a lot of different helmets. If you want to use a closed face one, the hound skull is my next choice, but I like having the bell-shaped kettle hat because it has lower visibility and conspicuousness and noise, and it's also open face, so when I'm using my bow, which is most of the time with this build, uh, I'm not trying to look through a visor. Then, of course, lastly, we have the Lords of Lipa gauntlets. These you get as a reward from com uh, for completing some of the tournaments in Retay. These are the best gloves for this build. They give you a lot of armor and defense, but not too much noise or visibility and conspicuousness. So with all of that put on, you can see we're at 37 and 42 for visibility and conspicuousness, only 38 for noise, so that's still very manageable, and we've got our charisma up to 12. Our last thing we want to put on is the Black Hood, and now there are several variants of Black Hood. We specifically want this one. This one has 6 and 12 for visibility and conspicuousness, 0 for noise, 7 for charisma. So you can see our visibility and conspicuousness are down to 28 and 34, and our noise is 38. Uh, charisma is 11. So total stats for this suit of armor, exactly as I've showed you. Uh, now keep in mind on screen, all of the stuff I'm wearing is damaged. I did that on purpose. I wore this and went out and did a bunch of combat, and it taught me two things. One, this is a nice durable suit of armor that you can take a lot of punishment in uh, and come out on top. And number two, uh, it is very stealthy. It's, it's an extremely good suit of armor. It just works really well. So stats on this one, we have a total weight of 71.6 pounds. So not crazy, but still on the heavy end, which makes sense given the amount of protection the suit offers. Our value is 13,742.1 groschen, so fairly affordable, but uh, still on the pricey side given the fact that we're wearing some of the more expensive jewelry. Our AAR, or average armor rating, is 76.5. Now that's not a tank. I put the tank uh, level at about 100 for our AAR, but this is still well within... Uh, a suit of armor, well within the range for a suit of armor, that can take a lot of punishment. You will not go down quickly in the suit of armor. If you have any skill at all, or any situational awareness, this will serve you extremely well. Like I said, uh, just stats on this, as is, uh, visibility and conspicuousness of 28 and 34, noise of only 38, which is not bad, and a charisma, uh, once it's all not damaged and clean and everything, this suit will actually have 19. Now, I got it all damaged, so I can show you how to make this suit even better because as it is this is a good AAR it's got a nice low visibility conspicuousness and noise so it's fairly stealthy and our charisma isn't bad uh, but with the use of a couple perks primarily Seville Row and Stuffing we can uh, improve the suit even more with Stuffing uh, when you repair your own armor you're able to pad it so it doesn't jangle as much so that's going to bring our noise down and then on top of that the Seville Row perk will uh, for any clothing that we repair it'll bring our charisma up and so both of those are going to make the suit significantly better. We have another perk that I've talked about before. Uh, that's the hunting uh, perk, Forester. This one will bring our conspicuousness and visibility down drastically in the woods. So I'll show you that once we get this uh, suit all repaired and washed up and everything. I'll show you how much better it gets when you get in the woods. You're basically invisible. And then of course the perk in stealth called Slim Fit lowers the noise of armor and other equipment by 20%. So that one is one that we already have going for us. So if you don't have Slim Fit, uh, your noise is probably going to be slightly higher than this, probably somewhere in the low 40s, but uh, I definitely recommend getting that one. So let's just go ahead and repair our armor. Remember to get those uh, maintenance perks. Obviously you have to have them and you have to repair the stuff yourself, not bring it to a smith. All right, so we've done what I could do here. Unfortunately, I damaged some of it more than I had realized I did. So you can see that my uh, gambeson, my brigandine, and my hood were all damaged far too low for me to repair myself. So I will have to go to the smith to get them fixed. But the more you wear a suit of armor like this, the more opportunities you'll have to repair it yourself. You can see I've repaired what I could and now I've gotten clean afterwards. We've gotten our noise down to just 18 so extremely low considering the armor value we have here and our charisma is at a natural 12 even though we still have some damaged armor on. All right I ran into town and repaired those last three items. Our noise is still down at 18 so you can see that we were not boosting from any of those being repaired by myself so we'll just damage them again slightly and then repair them again at some point. We'll get it down even lower and our charisma is up to 15 for having all of our stuff repaired and so that's without the well-rested perk. I have 
haven't gone to the bathhouse and slept with a wench. We're just up at a natural 15 for this outfit. All right, we've slightly damaged those items, so now we're going to repair them quick. And there we go. Now we've repaired every single item that we can on ourselves. We've got our charisma up to 16 and our noise down to 13 with this outfit. But wait, it gets better because we can get that visibility and conspicuousness lower. We just have to go to the woods. All right, we've gotten the forester perk activated, and now let's check it out. Boom. Visibility and conspicuousness down to 3 and 9. So, like I said, it's not a perfect suit of armor. It's not like it makes you invincible, but it gets you a decent amount of protection, a fairly decent amount of protection, and makes you almost invisible in the game. Yeah, sure, there are outfits you can do that'll get your visibility, conspicuousness, and noise down to practically zero. But this comes really close. And like I said, without even going to the bathhouse to spend a night with the bath, uh, with a uh, bath made or getting freshly rested, we still have a charisma up at 16 with this outfit. So ridiculously good outfit. If you're looking for a uh, heavy stealth armor outfit, this is the one. But that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. It took me a while to get it all uh, lined up, so I hope you enjoyed it. But we'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.